going to look at um, our papers that we've been working on for the last couple days. Again, I felt that these, um, I like these. So at this particular point, I'm not going to do anything more to these because I like these. I like these um, with a nice mat and um, to me these are done. These are ready. So we're going to put these to the side and and I liked this. This was one that I felt was done with a nice mat. This is my sample mat so of course it's it's got some marks on it but I like this. Mat this and is done. Maybe go through it later and I may see some more but at this point this is done. These are some more that I did. I like this one. I may not do anything more to this. Um, framed with a mat. I like this. So, I'm trying to get it right in frame. So that, that I may put to the side for now. I have others that I can work on. This is to me beautiful. I might um, do a couple more things. I might not. Um, there's so many others in here that I have see with it matted. This to me is beautiful. So I may not do anything with this one. I may put this to the side. This is one I definitely need to work on. And what has happened with this one is um, the composition uh, has gotten off and the tones have gotten off. It's it's too dark and there's while there's some interesting things to look at here, there's too much to look at. So I'm going to work on this one. This I like the colors but there's a lot more I could do to this one. So I'm going to work on this one. This is one that I think I might put in the bottom of the pile to work on because I might lighten up an area to bring in the emphasize. In the middle I may make this more of a focal point. So this one I may work on. Loving all that's going on here. I might add some collage. I can see some real pretty um, strips of collage in this one. So I'll put this in the pile to work on. These I love, although I think I could add more interest to those, so put that in the pile. Not loving this one. Um, that goes in the pile. And these are ones I did the other day, so um, we're not going to work on those. So I've got several here that I can work on, and I might start with this one. So several of the things that you can do, and let me pull the one that has all that color on it. If I wanted to um, bring out some collage in this one or in stamping in this one. Um, so remember these two when I go through. I make papers all the time and I just, you know, I can do another video. These are done just regular paper, uh, drawing paper. Some, is some are on watercolor. I do it with a brayer. I do some water, all, do all sorts of things to bring out uh, different colors. Uh, I doodle, like if I'm in front of the TV, I doodle or making dinner. Here are a couple where I've done uh, a watercolor paper and then I put like a stain or a glaze on the top to kind of bring out this is a beautiful piece um, that can be added somewhere and then these are just plain papers here's just a piece uh, cut out there's one I've cut some pieces out I've done some yellows this is one where I've done with some graphite 
Here's some gray and white, blue, another gray, another blue, and then some plain yellow and some like Indian yellow. So when you take a look at something like this, if you really wanted to push this to another dimension, you could add um, some collage to that. Calm down. Just be calm. You could add be calm. like a collage. I mean, there's different things you could do. Uh, I would just play with it until you got to the point where you're finding something that is starting to, you're going to react to it. So, that was why I bought both of those out. So let me put my papers to the side and we'll look at this. Now, some of the things that you can do to make this interesting, make this fun, is um, some of the tools I have. This is an art pen and it is, it is one of those pens with that real, um, what is it? Um, you know, the pin at the top. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a real pin. So you can go in and just start making marks, miscellaneous marks. You can add some graffito. Go in, and I love doing dots. So let's add some dots. Kind of pulls the um, dots up here. Another thing that is nice, this is, um, this is a stencil that I made favorite colors, uh, favorite shapes, is I can come over here and add some line work. I can do it with a couple different things, but I'm going to see if I can do it with my sponge. marks there. Um, here's some more um, this is a uh, uh, crayon, wax crayon. So this is where you start to fine tune your uh, paintings to add some interest to it. I can either cut with scissors or I can rip. I like a very organic look. So if you want to just start adding some interest to this, I could add some of the paper to this. Here's an interesting one with some of the same colors where I could just get some marks in it. That's kind of an interesting um, piece there. Oops, my brush had some red on it. And you know, sometimes those happy accidents. So let's just push that red through. So I'm going to add that.
Okay. Let's take advantage of that red. Just add some more graphite. I'm feeling like having some drips on this one. part way, push some of them back, okay, this is the drips and the uh, underpainting now. So let that dry, so we'll take that and put it to the side and let that dry. All right, our next one, this one's a challenge and I'm not quite sure if I would add this to, uh, add something to this or rip this up because it's like two different paintings going on here. And I like this up here and I like this down here. So I think on this one, And I have added a piece of that collage right to the middle. Let me see if I can show you. This is a very large painting. So if I were to skid it down this way, I've added a piece of collage. So that's why sometimes it's nice to have collage pieces sitting around to add to a um, already worked painting. This piece right here, like I said, I'm enjoying a lot of the marks, but it's not coming out to be a painting that I am really happy about at this particular point. And sometimes it's okay to let your painting sit for a while. Sometimes the paint and the color that's in the paint will change. A lot of times it will change after you've let it sit. So, um, I think what I'll do is I'm going to cover some of this up here. What I want to do is bring out a focal point on this. get too attached to my paintings because I want to have the freedom and the flexibility to go in and make changes if I feel like doing it. That's the way I've learned. It's, it's taken a, a risk. Have I sometimes taken it too far? Yes, of course I have. But there are times when I'm done with the painting that I'm I really I really am happy that I've taken that painting to the next level or the next generation. All right. So, I'm liking um some of the middle here. I'm 
bring that down and bring that up. So it just muted down those other areas. All right, um, this focal point. Let's see, what we may want to do is I'm liking this right in here. Another one that I, I absolutely love the busyness of this and I'm not quite sure where I would take it other than adding a um, some collage maybe um, I could add some of that um, I could add this black down in there. I'm really enjoying the, it's almost like trees. Okay, I'm thinking I'd like to bring in some dots. And I don't really like the dots of the, um, I forget the name of it, but So it's difficult for me. That's why a lot of times I do voiceovers. 
because when I'm painting, I, I don't, I don't think. I mean, I'm thinking about painting. <laughs> I don't think. I'm thinking about painting. So I'm starting to like this because I'm bringing in what happened here is I all of a sudden started to see some the light color and it needed that. It needed the contrast. The composition, I liked all this going on, but the composition needed um, something light. So what I'm doing right here is I am using this natural line that's already here and just adding some another, another layer of white. I'm going to do that over here. I'm going to just scruff in some white. I'm filling in. I'm given the line work that I'm enjoying on here ability to be seen. Um, and I'm really liking the fact that these tree type lines are starting to pop. And you know what I'm thinking on this is I think I might like some another one that I, I just I don't like so I could either again rip it up use it for collage and something else or just go for it and start to do some major trial and error
So as I finish the second um, module, second part of the uh, video of uh, paintings that I did uh, several years ago, um, if you remember, I redid these because the first video got some technical issues in it and I actually had a couple requests to redo it. I hope you get encouraged to just jump in there and um, keep trying things, keep taking risks, keep playing. Several of these have sold since the two year mark. Um, there's quite a few of them I haven't even put on my website yet. Periodically, I grab a handful and I sit at my art table with a glass of wine and turn on some music and I just revisit them. Um, some of them turn into collage, but as I watch this, I realize several of them have gone to new homes, which makes me really happy. So I hope you enjoyed this. And um, again, um, Merry Christmas. I uh, have a happy holiday. I hope you enjoyed this. And thank you for being, again, a part of my journey.